Hi and welcome to the Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Bologna. Bologna serves as the capital of the Emilia Romagna region of northern Italy and has a current population of approximately 387,000, with a greater metropolitan population of just over 1 million inhabitants. Bologna occupies a central location in Italy and lies to the north of Florence, to the south of Venice, and to the southeast of Milan. Throughout history, Bologna has served as a major cultural and economical hub in Italy and has been ruled by the Etruscans, Celts, and Romans, respectively. We managed to arrange a nice offer for you as a viewer on one of the activities. You can find the link in the description. More about this later on in the video. Let's get started. Number 10. Piazza Maggiore As the central square in Bologna, the Piazza Maggiore is located right in the center of the city and serves as an important historical place. This square is packed full of important buildings including the Palazzo di Curcio, the Palazzo del Podesta, the Basilica di San Petronio, and the Palazzo Comunale. Furthermore, to the northwest of the square sits the Piazza del Nettuno, which contains the famous Fountain of Neptune. Admire the fantastic architecture, visit the palaces and basilica, or sit and enjoy a fine Italian meal at one of the restaurants nestled in the porticos. A fantastic vibe and atmosphere can be found at the piazza, and open-air movies and concerts are sometimes held here. Number 9. San Petronio This immense structure stands as the 10th largest church in the world by volume and presents a domineering presence in the center of the Piazza Maggiore. Dedicated to St. Petronius, who is the patron saint of Bologna, the church has a Gothic design, and it is noted for both its sheer size and its unfinished front facade. Originally constructed in 1388 through to 1479, the church has never been truly finished and its front facade is quite bizarre. The lower half features colored marble stonework, whilst the top half remains bare and contains exposed brown brickwork. Number 8. Archigenasio Listed as one of the most important buildings in Bologna, the Archigenasio was once the main building of the University of Bologna and now houses the famous anatomical theater. This fantastic building was created in the 16th century and is located on the Piazza Galvani. As a piece of historical architecture, the Archigenasio is fantastic in its own right, but the anatomical theater is undoubtedly the centerpiece. Created completely in wood, this small room has an immense amount of wood paneling and carved statues of famous medical practitioners. Number 7. Bologna Archaeological Museum A fine museum in the heart of Bologna, the Archaeological Museum offers a fantastic insight into the history of the city throughout the ages. Located on the Piazza Maggiore, the museum is easily accessible and is a fascinating place to visit. The museum hosts a huge range of collections and is split into nine different sections. These include prehistoric, Etruscan, Celtic, Greek, Roman, Egyptian, and numismatic. Each collection contains a superb display of different artifacts, such as Bronze Age tools, skeletal remains, pottery, weaponry, china, and marble statues. Due to the large collection and its variety, you could spend hours admiring the displays and learning about the ancient history of the region. Number 6. Bologna National Gallery Whilst some galleries display works from a variety of countries, the Bologna National Gallery contains works that are related in some way to the Emilian region and the city. These paintings range in age as far back as the 13th century up to the 18th century. Located within the confines of the old university complex, the museum is within easy reach of the city center and the main Piazza Maggiore. Split into two main sections, the museum contains the Academia Clementina and the Gallery of the Academy of Fine Arts, the first of which contains a myriad of fantastic 13th-century Byzantine paintings, and the latter contains later works. Number 5. La Piazzola Market This historic market has been held in Bologna for hundreds of years and continues to prove increasingly popular with both the locals and tourists. Located in the Piazza del Agosto, which can be found to the north of the city center, the market features over 400 different stalls and is a truly fascinating sight to witness. Here you can find practically anything for sale from clothes, shoes, fashion accessories, flowers, 
pottery and jewelry. You will find the atmosphere captivating. The locals will haggle and shout, you will smell the different foods, spices and creations, and you will see a wider variety of different colors on display. Number 4. Monte della Guardia The longest portico in the world leads up to the top of Monte della Guardia. This forested hill provides a fantastic escape from the city and reaches a height of approximately 300 meters. You can find the hill to the southwest of Bologna near the Rito River. Walk the length of the portico and climb the slopes to reach the top of this wonderful hill. Number 3. Santuario di Madonna de San Luca As one of the oldest churches in Bologna, the Sanctuary of Madonna was first created in 1194, but not finished until 1765. This church sits on top of the Monte della Guardia and offers great views of the city of Bologna. Towering over the surroundings, the main building features a central basilica and is created from an orange-slash-pink material with green domes. Its style is considered to be Baroque. Inside, the sanctuary features a plethora of fantastic decorations and detailed frescoes that depict important religious scenes. Furthermore, there is also an icon of the Virgin Mary that was supposedly painted by Luke the Evangelist. Number 2. Tor Prendipart As previously mentioned, Bologna was once full of tall, narrow stone towers during the Middle Ages. Only a handful still remain today in their original shape and design, one of which is the Tor Prendipart. This particular tower was constructed during the 12th century and stands at 59.50 meters high. Located on the Piazza Prendipart, the tower lies close to the two leaning towers and the Piazza Maggiore. It now hosts a bed and breakfast establishment, which offers a unique experience, but the levels of the tower are also still open, and you can climb to the top and explore this wonderful building. Number 1. Towers of Bologna Who would have thought that the famous tower at Pisa is not the only leaning tower? Bologna has a pair of leaning towers, and one is taller than the iconic Campanile. Bologna has a myriad of towers, but the two tall examples standing in the piazza at the Porta Revignana are the most legendary. Asinelli and Garrisenda are two tall towers that stand next to each other and are both named after important Italian families. Asinelli stands at 97.2 meters and was used as a prison and a stronghold. Reserve your tickets for the Tor Degli Asinelli in time. Via the link in the description, you can buy your tickets for a reduced rate. It concerns an entrance ticket, and in addition, you will taste traditional regional products. Our tip is to book the tickets in advance. This way, you avoid the crowds in the city. If you are ultimately unable to make it, cancellation is possible free of charge for up to 24 hours. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.